This video explains the stages of fitting the electric assist e-kit to an existing mountain trike. First, check you have all the components needed to do this. The motor, fork and swing arm assembly, battery and mount, controller, display, throttle, wiring and charger. Then you're ready to begin. Start by undoing the steering cables with the 4mm Allen key. Then undo the barrel adjusters from the steering cable terminal. Next, undo the quick release on the rear shock. Then, using two 4mm Allen keys, undo the bolts holding the rear swing arm to the frame. Now screw in the M6 by 90mm long bolt provided. Tap with a hammer to remove the rear pivot axle. Slide the axle all the way out and remove the original rear swing arm and fork assembly. Keep the spacers safe as you will need those for fitting the new unit. Slide the axle into position in the bearing and position the spacer inside it. Position the second spacer inside the bearing and locate against the main frame. Line up the axle and slide it into the frame. Fit the other pivot pin bolt. Then locate the rear shock onto the rear swing arm and tighten the quick release. Adjust the quick release lever to get the tension nice and tight. Now using the two 4mm Allen keys, tighten the pivot pin bolts. These bolts should be hand tight. Now reconnect the steering cables. For a right hand steer setup, the longest cable goes to the left hand side of the steering cable terminal. Screw in the barrel adjuster, locate the cable, and then fit the cable to the other side of the terminal. Screw in the second barrel adjuster, locate the cable, then pull the cables through. Now screw in the cable clamp bolts, making sure that the washer sits nicely on top of the cable. Tighten the bolts loosely. It does help now to have someone to hold the steering handle straight while you pull the cables tight. Pull the cable tight with pliers, then tighten up the bolt with the 4 Allen key. Make sure the cables are tight before proceeding. To fit the battery mount, use the key to remove the mount from the battery itself.
Now position the battery mount onto the battery plate and line up the holes. Fit the M5 washer to the M5 screw and slide through from the back. Then use the low profile M5 nylock nut to tighten onto the bolt. It's easiest to fit a bolt at either end of the mount as this holds it in place while you tighten up all of the other bolts. There are seven bolts in total and all are necessary to secure the battery mount to the battery plate. Now use a 4mm allen key and an 8mm spanner to tighten up the bolts. You may find it easier to use a ratchet or an electric drill at this point. Now fit the battery brackets to the battery plate. Position the bracket so it matches the profile of the battery plate. And use the dome head M6 bolts to tighten the bracket to the plate. Tighten both bolts with the 4mm allen key hand tight. Now repeat for the bracket on the other side. The battery mount is now ready to bolt to the mountain trike. Slide the M6x30 bolts through the battery clamps. Position the battery mount assembly on the frame. There should be an even gap between the shock mount on each side. Screw the clamp into the bracket. Just tighten up the bolts loosely so that you are still able to position the bracket. Fit the lower bolts, then tighten loosely with a 5mm allen key. Now rotate the battery mount so that the back face is parallel to that of the seat. This will position the battery mount correctly so that when the back wheel folds during transport it doesn't catch on the battery and allows the back wheel to fold fully underneath the seat. Once you have checked this you will be able to tighten up the bolts fully. It's also important to make sure that there is an even gap each side of the battery clamp. To achieve this you may need to loosen one bolt and tighten the other bolt to even out the gaps. Once the gap is even, tighten both bolts hand tight. Double check again that the rear wheel still folds fully underneath the seat. Reposition the battery mount if needed. Now fit the battery to the mount. It slides into position 
and drops into place on the bracket. You will notice there will be a definite click when it locates fully, all the way up to the end of the bracket. There should be no step visible once the battery is located properly. Turn the key to lock the battery into position on the trike so it can't slide off. Remove the key whilst riding. To remove the battery, turn the key then slide the battery off the mount. To fit the display and throttle, remove the grip. Slide the display into position on the drive lever so that the buttons are towards the bottom. Then slide the throttle into position and tighten with a 3mm Allen key. Slide the display up towards the throttle and tighten with a crosshead screwdriver. Slide the wire through the swing arm and underneath the seat straps. Connect the yellow throttle wires and the green display wires. Thread through the zip ties on the cable mount on the drive lever. Make sure the connectors are aligned so the arrows on the connectors line up. Slide the motor wire through the steering cables. Zip tie the motor wire to the rear fork. Now connect the controller to all of the wires. It will be obvious which wires connect to which as they are all different connectors. First connect the battery, then connect the motor. This is a particularly stiff connector and it's important to make sure that the arrows are lined up and that it connects all the way up to the line. It will need quite a bit of force to do this. Now connect the throttle and display to the controller. Again, line up the arrows so that they match up and push in. There are redundant connectors on the controller which are not needed. Now zip tie the controller under the seat. It is positioned here so it has good airflow and can cool down. Fit zip ties around the cables to control any slack. The e trike battery has a key which is purely for locking the battery to the trike. It has an on switch for turning the battery on and off and the charging socket hidden under the rubber flap. The charger has a form which only fits the correct way into the battery. Make sure it is lined up correctly when plugging it in. When the battery is not charged, the red light on the charger will shine. When it is fully charged or unplugged, it will go green. The e-kit fitting is now complete. If you have any questions, please get in touch using the contact details at the end of this video. Please also refer to the How to Ride e-trike video, which has a useful explanation of how the system works and some riding hints and tips. Thank you for watching.